Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check kit from RS models. As usual you can find full review article in the video description below, there should be direct link so just click it and you will find review with detailed photos and text in English and Russian. As for the kit itself, this is Avia B534 which is modeled in 70 second scale and as I said before it comes in uh, comes from Czech manufacturer RS models. Um, I think some of you know that Eduard also released Avia in the same scale, so it should be interesting to compare this kit with what we saw in the Eduard's kit. Here you can see that on the back side of the box we have four marking options which are included into this kit. And the box size is quite typical for the 70 second scale kit, so here you can see comparison with my hand size. This is a side opening box. And inside we find all plastic screws packed together with assembly manual, decal sheet and some other bonuses, let's say. So let's open it and check plastic parts closer. Just give me a second to open the plastic bag. Okay. Let's start from the decal sheet. This one is printed in form of this nice small uh, sheet. And as you can see it features all necessary symbols. Printing quality is quite nice. And I hope application will be easy. Because they look good. Next we have first plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to the lower wing and also to fuselage halves. As you can see fuselage halves are divided uh, in typical style. So we have left and right part without tail segment and without top cooling segment as well. Here we have one piece propeller. Uh, on the fuselage and wings we have recessed panel lines. I can even zoom camera so that you can see closer detailing of those parts. Overall they seem to be uh, would say carefully molded. Attachment points are placed in several points as you can see but uh, they might require careful separation because otherwise you might damage fuselage half. Inside there is almost no detailing and I hope it will be assembled separately and of course there are no position pins whatsoever. The same on the other half. So you have to be careful while assembling it. Wing part is molded as one piece. Here you can see special slots for the wing struts. And again molding quality seems to be fine but the look on these attachment points are uh, quite wide I would say for the modern standards. But if you are ready to tackle such a uh, connection point it won't be a huge problem. Then we have another part here is uh, the top wing which is molded together with ailerons as you can see it's also molded as a one piece part so you just separate it off this frame and send it and install onto your model next we have another plastic sprue this one carries another propeller version and several parts for the external detail including one piece tail segment Last grey plastic sprue is dedicated to minor external elements. So here we have another wing part, wing struts, landing gear legs, as well as another propeller here, tail wings, and even cockpit floor, which is quite simple, I would say. Here you can see also dashboard for the cockpit. I can zoom camera so that you can see it closer. So it looks more or less fine for those who don't like to work with PE, but if you have a chance to use PE, I would recommend to do it. And last but not the least is a assembly manual, which is printed in form of this black and white brochure with short history note on the first page. And then we have inside assembly instructions on how to build your small area. By the way, I just noticed that there is a separately molded small transparent part which will copy windshield so be careful not to lose it because it's quite easy to do it. As for the assembly manual let's get back to it. Um, here we have detailed instructions on what we have to do and here you can see a rigging scheme and here as well. So that's all for this video review as you can see we have let's say um, cheaper alternative to it or its kit and I would be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below would you choose this kit or maybe some other alternatives from the market 
And of course, press like the button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get our video reviews on time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye.